So the next part of resuscitation is uh, using an AED on your patient. If you are at a base, there should be plenty of people around to help you. And as we said previously, there will be an AED available, should be behind reception. If you are in a patient's house, you may be alone. In that case, you will not be able to get an AED because you can't leave the patient unattended. If there is another person in the house who's willing to, when you call 999, they will tell you the location of the nearest community AED. They'll also give you the code to unlock to the lock cabinet that it stays in. Uh, if they're happy to go and get that, then that's really good. They can bring it back and I will demonstrate how you use it. Okay. In the community, they may look different to this. This is the one we use in the trust, but they all work pretty much the same way once they're turned on. So press the on button. Remove clothes from patient's chest. All community ADs should come with a pair of scissors. So close when off. When the patient's chest is there, open grey plastic case and peel off white adhesive pads. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one white pad from the grey case. Place pad exactly as shown. Press firmly to bare skin. Stay clear of patients. Analyzing heart rhythm. Stay clear of patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Everybody clear. Shocking patient. Shock delivered. Be sure the ambulance service has been called. It is safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. So I'm just going to turn this off, otherwise it keeps talking over Replace me. battery. So it's really simple to use an AED. Uh, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. Pads need to go onto clean, dry, bare skin. So there are a few things that might be in the way. Patient will probably be wearing clothes. There are scissors available with your AED to cut clothes off. Patient might have hairy chest. There should also be a razor available as well. Just need to cut a few strips where the pads sit, not clear the whole chest. Patient may have jewelry on. It's too fiddly to remove jewelry. Just make sure it's not stuck under the pads and it'll be absolutely fine. Um, if the patient's chest is wet, you will need to pat that down. They, they do need to stick to dry skin. ADs is perfectly safe to use out in, outside and in damp conditions. You just have to make sure that the patient's chest is dry. This is a normal pad placement for an AED, but if the patient does have a particularly hairy chest and you don't have access to a razor, you can put pads in this position that usually manages to avoid most of the hair. Okay, so it's really quite simple to use. The only thing you have to do is make sure that when it's analyzing the heart rhythm that nobody's doing CPR, and when you press the shock button, nobody's touching the patient. Uh, once you've uh, pressed the shock button, you can go straight back to CPR without delay. This machine does talk you through how to do CPR if you do press that flashing blue button because they're made for lay people. You shouldn't need to press that because you've had this training, but you can if you want to. It's got a nice metronome that keeps you in the correct rhythm. It does factor in breaths, which some people choose not to do if they have not got the correct equipment, um, but that's a, a judgment call for you. Uh, that's how you use the AED, um, really simple piece of equipment to use, so don't be put off using them, it will save lives.